Hi, I'm Mike Song, and this Get Control Quick Hit video is all about the new features in Office 365. This video will move fast, so always remember to pause the video and practice each tip a few times. Office 365 is new because all of your apps like Word, Excel, and Outlook are now available in three formats, or as I call them, platforms. I'll use Outlook as an example. Here is the feature-rich desktop version. And this is the browser-based version of Outlook. And this is the mobile version of Outlook that I have on my smartphone. So which version or platform should you use? Desktop, browser-based, or mobile app? Well, it's up to you. I use the desktop versions the most. The familiar desktop versions seem to have more features and seem to operate faster than the browser or mobile versions. For example, in the desktop view, PowerPoint offers more ways to transition from slide to slide. Here are the desktop transition options. And here are the browser transition options. The browser version does have some advantages. For example, it updates and saves automatically, and it seems to work better when I'm sharing and editing documents with other people. Another advantage is that you can access the web versions of Word or PowerPoint or any of the apps from any browser anywhere in the world. To access the web version of Office 365, you need to log in to your Office 365 account. Here is your Office 365 online homepage. Here is a convenient search window that will allow you to search all of your OneDrive documents. Below the search are all the different cloud-based Office 365 apps. I'll highlight a few of the apps now. Here are Mail, Calendar, People, and Tasks. These are the web-based versions of your desktop Outlook Email, Calendar, Contacts, and Tasks. OneDrive is where you'll store your individual documents. It's a cloud-based storage system that we'll explore in another video. And SharePoint will continue to be the place for team shared documents. You can see familiar Microsoft Office apps here too, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. OneNote is Microsoft's amazing note-taking tool. The Y is for Yammer, Microsoft's work-focused version of Facebook. Finally, you'll see some great new apps like Delve, Sway, and Flow. Since most people aren't using them, we'll hold off on explaining them here. Below the apps, you can see your recently opened documents and folders. Now, I will click on Mail so you can see the web-based version of Outlook. There it is. Now, when you visit any app, just click on this nine-box icon in the upper left to see all your Office 365 applications. When you're in Outlook view, these application boxes can be rearranged by clicking and dragging your most used apps up to the top left for faster access. Note that Microsoft has built its useful Skype for Business app right into the Office 365 browser bar. And you can always click on Office 365 to return to your home screen. Click this button to install the latest versions of your apps. And the gear is for your settings, and the question mark is for help. Now, if you're like me, you're using your smartphone more and more. Well, good news. You can find an app in the App Store for almost every Office 365 product, including Outlook, Word, Excel, OneDrive, and more. Here you can see the Outlook app. Oh, I love this app because it combines and perfectly syncs my email, calendar, contacts, and even files I've stored in OneDrive all into one convenient app. It's a four-in-one app. In the past, I would add a calendar item on my phone to the calendar app, and it sometimes didn't sync perfectly to my PC version of Outlook. Well, with the Office 365 mobile app for Outlook, it does, and I eliminate the need to use those four other apps, which is cool. I've tested the other apps, and they also work great. For example, I've loaded Skype for Business to my phone, and it's helped me keep in touch with colleagues, and I've also loaded PowerPoint as a backup presentation tool in case my computer fails and I need to make a big presentation. What's really exciting about the three big platforms of Office 365 is that the desktop, 
browser and mobile app versions all sync to each other. So, if you make a change in a Word document in one platform, that change will be reflected on all three platforms. Please take a moment to surf into each area of Office 365, desktop, browser version, and mobile version. 